Hey, what's going on everybody? Callie Stormdoll here and you know I got a new DM on my Instagram. Just know that you can follow me, hit me up with any dolly questions on my Instagram at CallieStorm underscore dolls. Now the question I got in my DM is what's next for Rainbow High? I said, hmm, that's a really good question. Let's go into those deeper details because we know that they have Rainbow High, Shadow High, Pacific Coast, all these other lines. But if you don't know anything about Rainbow High, let me tell you a little bit about it. Now, Rainbow High features a line of color-coded dolls, dolls of different shades, colors, background, everything like that. It's an art school where these different students attend to, I guess, spread their artful styles. <laughs> now, when Rainbow High was originally announced, people know about the salacious behind the scenes battle and public court dates as well that MGA and Mattel have gone through in the past. Now, some people put two and two together and realized that the line Rainbow High could have been a complete dig at Mattel's Monster High. Now keep this in mind. As we go through these references, just know that this isn't a direct comparison video to Mattel or MGA. As in Monster High to Rainbow High, I only have a few comparisons. Of course, with both of their dolls being based on high school students is the most common theme. Are built on their lead characters being high school students. That's like most of the comparison that most people can make. Because the truth be told, Monster High was never based on color-coded designs the way Rainbow High is. Monster High is what the title says. These girls are dead, but they've come back from the grave to raise their fashionable styles. Now, not every student that attends Monster High um, was you know a corpse that came to life some of them are werewolves we have cat people we have plant creatures and all these different students come together which creates monster high and um the past when they came out that is what drew me into them is that these girls were different these students were different and that's what made them cool it really wasn't color patterns or themes it was the fact that these girls were known as monsters but they built a friendship, a bond, and they solved kooky mysteries along the way. So I really like that about Monster High. Now jumping back on topic, what's next for Rainbow High? Now fans are curious, especially the person who DM'd me. Remember, if you ever send me a DM and you want me to shout you out, just say it in a DM and I will give you a shout out. Hey, it's all love over here. But let's jump back onto topic. So we know about Rainbow High. We have a series of girls. The one in front of us is Jade. And as you can see, Jade is definitely featuring a sporty theme, green in color, black in theme, blue eyes, definitely Billie Eilish, right? MGA is not a company that shies away from the celebrity comparisons. They're gonna give you their celebrity tea. If you guys have not seen my video on the Paris Hilton doll by MGA, please check that out as I break that whole video down. We have had a lot of recent side doll brands presented by MGA. Along with Rainbow High, they have produced other completely different school lines. One behind them being Shadow High, and then another one being Pacific Coast. Now, fans are interested. Is MGA going to continue to just go to different schools to branch out and bring different doll lines to the table? Or is there a greater theme? Well, you know, your girl Callie put on her investigation glasses. And I'm going to break this down. I'm not going to say MGA is simply running out of ideals. But MGA is trying to hit every corner of the market all at once. Now, is this going to play in their favor? Or will this actually be the decline of the Rainbow High doll series? Let's break it down now. Pacific Coast. We did get a series of beach themed dolls and these dolls all came from a different school. Pacific Coast. Were they necessarily rivals of Rainbow High? No, but it was a different school. So a lot of us just looked at this as a branch off series to the line. You know, Rainbow High, okay, there's an alternative school, Pacific Coast. No one really thought much of it, right? Because if you look over the theme, the doll we're looking at today is Harper. You see that along her belt and things like that, it's still represents rainbow high so she's still representing the original brand 
why doesn't her baggage, luggage, and suitcases have Pacific Coast on them? Is it a marketing plan? Follow your girl throughout this video. The next one we're gonna go into, Shadow High. Now the Shadow High doll we're looking at today is Nicole Steele. I have revamped her style a little bit. If you look up the original doll, you'll see she's different in aesthetic and theme. But overall, these are grayscale dolls that feature the theme of black, gray, a lot of darker tones. So these girls coming from Shadow High, something slithering out of the shadows. MGA definitely marketed this as a whole new high school, darker in theme and darker in style. Was this line a direct connection to Monster High once again? Let's break it down. So we know that Monster High was actually pulled from the shelves because a lot of parents said that these dolls were too scary. It's frightening for my child to know that death doesn't end with death. These girls came back from the graves, put on their high heels, and they're strutting the runways. Unlike Rainbow High, which has got critiques from parents as well, but for different reasons, body texture, sculpts, and themes. So I had to think to myself, why would MGA make an almost close replica to Monster High dolls knowing that parents once pulled got Mattel to pull dolls from shelves because they were too frightening. Is it a publicity stunt or is it that they simply wanted to have a different theme and aesthetic than the current Rainbow High dolls that are on shelves? Let's look into the deeper issue. At Mattel's highest peak of reputation, keep in mind, um, Monster High came out in 2010. So from 2010 up into what, 2015, 2016, around that time, we already know that Mattel was making bank. Before they did the reboot of Monster High, um, it was really popular. Everyone was snatching these dolls off shelves. So even though MGA may not favor Mattel as a business, you have to follow their marketing schemes and plans. If you notice, even though these dolls have a darker theme and constantly remind people that death is real, but Mattel let it be known that death can also be fashionable as well. So that's what these dolls brought to the table. Why would MGA introduce another darker themed doll line knowing that this one had been refuted for years? Well, there is a market there. Yes, Mattel has announced that Monster High will be making a return soon. So why wouldn't the company put monstrous dolls back on the shelves? Now, if you are a fan of the Rainbow High series, you know that not every character from Shadow High features a dark personality. It's just the themes are a little bit different. So now that we've looked at some of the sidelines of Rainbow High, let's look at some of these spinoff dolls. We have to look at everything before we really break down where MGA is going with this doll line. We have to bring up dolls such as Avery and we have to bring up dolls such as Kia Hart. Now I know people who do not follow this doll brand may be wondering why are these two separate from others. Well, unlike Jade here, um, Nicole Steele and even Harper who we looked at earlier, these two girls got solo releases and here's why when you're putting out a doll brand you want to see what's gonna sell and what isn't gonna sell outside of your core doll release so MGA released these two to see what the public would be giving would they be favorable of these two girls or would they say no we only want to buy the core dolls but from what history is showing us Avery and Kia did well enough that MGA is still producing sidelines from Rainbow High now these two girls go to the main school of Rainbow High this isn't like a side school line as in Pacific Coast and Shadow High these girls are Rainbow High students but they simply got solo releases why MGA is testing the waters to see what's willing to sell and what isn't these two girls feature brightly colored hair um, one is themed as the heartbreaker, which is Kia, and then the other one is themed as the more fashionable student, which is Avery. Avery does have um, a deeper story on the show, so if you are a fan, go check her out. Kia, I believe they just scratched the surface with her and just wanted to release her, kind of like a Valentine's Day type of doll, but kind of get into that speciality theme. This was like some of the earlier sideline releases from the Rainbow High series.
Now, we, if we go back to the sales of Rainbow High, we know that a lot of the core dolls do well. Some of the sidelines haven't done well, like with their cheer line, with their winter break line. Now, the tweens that they released, um, they're still too new, and your girl Callie is still doing her investigations to find out how well the tween series did. If you are watching this video, just drop a comment below. Did you support those tween dolls that were released? So, like, let's say Jade here. She released, they released a doll of her maybe when she was 12 versus when she was 16. So, they put out younger dolls on the line to see how well they would do now their release is pretty new I believe it was earlier this year so I haven't been able to get enough statistics to see how well they have done but winter break and the cheer dolls that they did of them <laughs> let's just say Walmart had them discounted the second week out so you know that they weren't really selling that well did it stop MGA for trying no it didn't MGA has also put out doll lines of the line slumber party and of the rockstar line now we have noticed from mga that some of these other doll brands like the rockstar series and the slumber party series have sold well outside of the main core dolls so i think even though mga does produce series of dolls series one series two series three series four of the main core brand students that attend rainbow high they're still testing those waters to see what we could do if we had this colored theme doll or if we had dolls producing a rock theme and style. I believe if these dolls sold so well that they broke the bank, like millions of them were flying off the shelves, we would have a slumber high, meaning all sleepwear, and we will also have a rock star high. Follow what I'm saying. MGA is literally testing the waters with these sidelines that are being produced. So to answer the question of the person who said, what's gonna be next for MGA and Rainbow High, I do believe we just got another core line, but this is from my personal experience following, you know, doll brands and paying attention to the media. I do believe we will get more side series than core series because they're still testing the waters of what people want. If we're starting to get over core dolls, like when they put out these side dolls, we're not really buying them. The winter break, the cheer dolls, we already got them once why you you see what i'm saying that's why they put out doll lines such as shadow high pacific coast because they're trying to see what's gonna sell to the market that's why i really believe the next step for mga is going to be more side lines i really do you guys can quote me on that i believe before we get the next core line we will see additional sidelines from this series so what do i think is next i think it's more sidelines and i think they're going to focus on the other schools so if we look at rainbow high pacific coast we know that they are thinking about doing a pacific or they're coming out with not thinking sorry coming out with the paris hilton doll from the pacific coast and we also got the two pack of the twins that are coming from shadow high as well so it looks like mga is definitely focused on their sidelines and I'm not going to say they're stepping away from their core girls, but you may see them a little less if they're not moving as much as they used to. You guys comment below and let me know if that makes any sense to you. Yes, we kind of thought in the beginning they were competing with Monster High, but I think that's in name only. If we're being realistic, I think right now they're just trying to figure out what's going to move in this dolly market. And I think instead of them focusing on a core line featuring the girls from the original line, this company is going to focus more on side series. You can quote your girl. Come back to this video in the future. Share it. Let me know your thoughts. Where do you see Rainbow High and MGA moving to? I think they're going to continue the shows, maybe even a few specials. But I promise you, I see them focusing a little bit more on some of these side series than simply focusing on the original core girls. Hey. This has been your homegirl, Callie, always keeping my ear on those dolly streets. But let me know what you think in that comment section below. It's always fun to have a doll chat. So chime in below and let me know your thoughts. Like, share, subscribe, and you know I will. See you on my next video. Bye!